Hello guys. In this video we will discuss how we can place an icon or an image into our app. First we will see how we can put an icon into our screen. For icon there is a composable called icon. So this icon composable receive different parameters. First we will see what this image vector parameter is with the jetpack compose there are many icons also come so we can use those icons here for that we can say use icons dot default dot when we place dot then we can see here there are so many icons we can use like this so first Let's use this face icon and this content description is we need to define what this icon is for this let's say face icon. Now let's run our app and see this icon. So here it's a face icon so uh, let's zoom it and apart from this default variant there are other variants also like outline rounded two tone so first let's see what this outline face icon is let's run our app and see like this we can use different variants according to our need so like this we can access more icons simply we have to use uh, this icons library and here uh, by placing dot we can see there are many icons but if we want some other icons which is not in this list so what we can do the, uh, there is a one more library which has many more icons than these few icons for th that library first let's call a uh, use call this call icon and for that library we have to go to this gradle script and build.gradle so here already there are many dependency we can place one more dependency for that library and this is the library first let's minimize this and this is the library which we will use in our app this is a big library so we only use this library when we need many many different icons in our app so for using this library let, first let, let's sync our project now our project has been synced so let's go to that main activity file and here when we place dot now we can see many more icons like this with the a we can see there are many icons like this add photo add reaction add row the these this is the very large list so here we can use so many icons so let's use calendar today icon this icon now let's run our app again here it is our calendar icon so apart from these android studio also provide us many icons for that we have to go to this resource directory and here there is a drawable package and here let's say new vector asset when we click on this clip art this list of icons will open so here we can select icons which we want in our app so let's use this hand icon and there is also hand icon so there are also different variants of these icons like outline here outline icons rounded sharp icons sharp icons is their edges are very sharp two tone like this so let's use this field front hand this icon so now let's name it this ic is icon next finish now we can see this is the icon which are in this 
draw drawable package so how we can access this so here in this greeting function we first we will take column and what this column is we will discuss in the next video first le let's use this icon here and next icon of this painter parameter here how we can access that icon with the help of this painter resource we will say r dot drawable dot icon front hand and here we will save hand icon and now let's run our app and see so this is how we can use icons which comes with the android studio now if we want our own icons so how we can use those we can copy those icons from our system and copy and paste that in this drawable package like this so how we can place this icon similarly like the android studio icon we can place this icon also let's use this and say icon reels outline and now let's run our app so like this we can place our own icon also now we can see this reel icon is little bit large so how we can resize th these icons with the help of modifier we can do so so let's use modifier parameter and here modifier dot size and let's use 30 dp and copy this and paste here also and here also and now let's run our app now we can see our icons are of same size so now if we want to give some color to these icons so how we can uh, will do with the help of this tint parameter we can do so so let's take blue color for this calendar today icon and this hand icon is of red color and this reels icons green color now let's run our app so this is how we can give color to our icons now sometimes we want our icons to act as a button so we what we can do now we can say this these are not clickable so if we want our this hand icon act as a button so we we will use this icon button composable and we will place this hand icon in this composable so now our hand icon will act as a button now let's see the changes now if we click on this hand button uh, we can see this is working as a button so this is how we will we use this icon button this is all we will discuss about icons now we will look into the images how we can place images in our app so android studio and jetpack compose doesn't provide any image we can we have to copy those images from our system and paste in this drawable folder so i will copy and paste in this drawable so i have pasted this image and uh, how we can use this image in our app so after this icon i will use this image with the help of this image composable like the icon we used from the drawable folder in the same way we will use this image here we will say painter resource 
r dot travel dot image and here i will say profile image now let let's run our app so this is how we place image in our screen so let's minimize zoom out it little bit and let's change the size to little bit more for resizing again we will use modifier modifier dot size and i will say 200 dp so it will be big enough let's run so with the help of this modifier we have resized our image if we want our image to give some rounded corner so what how we can do so with the help of this clip function we will do rounded corner shape let's take 25 dp and now run here we can see our image has rounded corner now if we want our image of circle shape it is very simple in place of that rounded corner shape we will use circle shape and run so with the help of this clip and circle shape we have made our image of circle shape we can give border to this image also so with the help of this border function first we will give some width let's take 5 dp and color gray and we also have to provide the shape of this border because our image is circle so we will take circle shape to this border also now let's run our app so like this we can give border so let's zoom in and here we can see our image has beautiful border so this is how we place image into our app so this is all we will discuss about images and icon and in the next video we will discuss about rows columns thanks for watching